we adapt to change every day. Uh, we accept that change is part of the industry. Change is a necessary part of um, an industry that's evolving rapidly and quickly. So we actually embrace the change. We see change as uh, the evolution of where our business needs to go next and helping to guide us. So we use change actually as a, a map or um, a GPS for where our business ought to evolve to next. By always being um, plugged in, reading relevant news sites, reading relevant um, blogs, publications, um, following um, thought leaders on social media. Um, you just have to do it. You'll know if you failed at that when you're in front of a customer and they bring up a change in the industry and you're caught without an answer. We have built an R&D team internally at Pegasus Technologies and they are looking at the industry and as a whole and understanding what is coming. They're also looking at what our clients' needs are and they're going out and they're finding new technologies that are potentially uh, services we can turn into a managed service for our clients. The biggest challenge I experience is the ability to work with sometimes insurance companies that are behind us in technology that haven't invested and we have to go and find out a way to be able to assist the insurance companies to give us the information that we need to provide back to our providers. You have to find the perfect medium when you're innovating and the medium is um, you need to leverage innovative, um, disruptive trends, technologies um, to solve problems customers have today. We've got 400 customers a year ago, we had 20. So um, it's harder to stop and, and work on product when you have to continue to grow the business. So I think it's, it's just a classic innovator's dilemma. Um, you know, so we just have to make time to always look at ourselves in the mirror and keep improving and keep challenging the way we're doing things. We've innovated in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning, and the technology that we've invented has really helped to drive an incredibly huge scale um, opportunity for predictive analytics that the market has really never seen before. What we've done at Dorado is we focused on our middleware, and that's our, our black box, where we keep all of our rules that are required in, in healthcare for transmitting data. What we do is we say to the client, you don't have to really know EDI. We know EDI, you pass us what you need, we change it into what the insurance carrier wants. We're taking a type of content automation that doesn't exist in the marketplace and introducing it to new people every day um, and solving real problems and, and helping them acquire new customers. And so I think um, the innovation that's happening, even though maybe the marketplace doesn't see it and doesn't appreciate it, I think drives the, the motivation of our employees and our staff to, uh, to come to work every day and to think that what we're doing is you know, interesting and important and relevant. So I have a lot of different routines that I, I go through on a weekly, monthly basis. Um, probably the, the most effective one is, we call it Meeting Tuesdays. I dedicate an entire day to meet with my team leads and management. I meet with them individually, so I'm able to understand the challenges they face in their departments. I'm able to mentor them and help them grow into, you know, as personally and also grow their teams. It's really an art and science on how you end up both coming up with new ideas for innovation and commercializing them. We've actually created a uh, separate task force at Nexnet called Nexnet Inc., which is the innovation and commercialization teams. And these are basically pods that basically evaluate, come up with new ideas, and then look to commercialize these ideas, these innovations in the marketplace. The vision's so large, and what we want to accomplish is so big that it's tough to get everything done in the time frame that an impatient CEO uh, likes to do. An impatient CEO that loves to innovate and a, and a wonderful staff that likes to continue to innovate and think of new things. So, so it's really about how do we get everything done? That's our biggest challenge today. So the best leadership advice I learned early on uh, that was given to me was to surround yourself with A players. Without A players, it's a lot harder. Uh, and certainly more A players that can help complement your weaknesses. Uh, be sure to listen to them and don't fear them. It starts with vision at the top, but the most important thing is vision is executed by creative action. And all the people that work for Lone Logic really define creative action. So they know that we vet these ideas out and, and to me, the biggest impact uh, is the culture itself.